swear to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alright, uh, just wanted to quickly hop on and talk about a uh, vision God showed me that uh, it was a vision of three waves. It wasn't a long vision. It was, they were three golden waves. Obviously when the first came, I did not know there were two more preceding it. But I saw a lighthouse on a beach, and it was a very small lighthouse. I believe it represented, it had, well, it had a twofold meeting. It re represented the church that I currently attend, Word of Life, and uh, that's my home church. And the remnant church, and the fact that it was such a small lighthouse says a lot for the body of Christ that there's very few real real Christians and I'm not here to judge anybody God knows who's real and who's not and who's completely sold out and who isn't um, but in the vision tiny lighthouse white with the red, you know, kind of looked like a candy cane. And I know white represents purity and peace, and red represents blood and sacrifice and all that stuff. Um, but the, the beam, the radiating light off the lighthouse was very powerful. Um, but the primary focus wasn't the lighthouse, it was kind of like just there. But I saw this wave, and it was it was golden. Um, I mean, it was blue, but it, the it's hard to describe. The it was golden tinted, like the edges of the water uh, were were golden. It looked like light shimmering off of the water, and it was a wave that crashed over the lighthouse, and then onto the adjacent beach and everything else. Um, then I had a knowing that there was another one. Um, both of them were substantial in height. But then there was a third one, and it was coming. And I believe it was the glory of God. These all represented uh, the past awakenings, the first and second awakening of the church, and the third great awakening that... Some say we're in right now. Uh, I thought we were, but I believe there's more coming. I believe that glory is getting ready to touch down is what the Lord was showing me, where the true power is coming back to the church. And by that I mean the gifts of the Holy Spirit um, in their full in the fullness. You know, we're getting a little bit here, a little bit there, but we haven't seen nothing yet is what I keep feeling in my spirit. So, nothing to fear. Apparently there's still a virus going on right now. Delta variant and all that. Uh, it was pretty funny. I, I, I heard, uh, I mean it's a real virus, but it ain't nothing for God. Uh, uh, back in a prayer group weeks ago, I heard my spirit, uh, the Lord told me, you know, I am the Alpha and Omega and this thing is the delta variant doesn't mean anything then I, like two three days later after i heard that i written it down in my journal and everything and announced to the group i i started sending to the prayer group look it's all over church billboard signs almost exactly the way that i heard it in my spirit it was god is awesome he's getting his message out through his holy spirit um there's nothing to fear nothing to fear if you know God, you're sheltered in Him. You're covered in the shadow of the Almighty, uh, in, under His tabernacle. If you're tabernacled with Him, it's just it's time to rise up, church. Uh, we claim to.
carry the Holy Spirit within us. And most of us can't show any evidence that that Christ really dwells within us. You know, don't believe in deliverance for today or any of the other signs that Jesus said would follow all those who believe. Pick up a Bible, read for yourself the words of the Master, Jesus Christ, what he said, these signs shall follow all who believe, and then put two and two together. I mean, it, it's not rocket science. It's easy to tell the real from the false. We should have discernment. But I just wanted to pop on. I thought that was a really cool vision. The Lord showed me that uh, there's hope. God is coming soon. But before that, the third great awakening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Over and out, I guess. <laughs>